My name is Jordan Pierre. I'm uh, the owner and operator of Lucky Buttons, and uh, generally people call me Lucky. Lucky Buttons is a jewelry company that me and my wife started in 2014. I guess it started as like a, just something to focus my attention into like uh, making rings and things. And then it just kind of snowballed as I learned new processes and like uh, it became a whole different thing. <laughs> Silversmithing is like knowing how to manipulate different types of metals and like be able to make new things out of old ones. I do like soldering, uh, engraving, uh, making rings and reforming metal and all sorts of different things. Spoons, forks, coins, keys, you know, whatever else I like to turn my hand to because sometimes I just like to work on weird stuff that has no practical purpose. <laughs> I guess as long as uh, coins have been made, people have probably been turning them into other things and jewelry and things that you can wear. Back in the Navy days, people would take a quarter and a spoon that they were issued and tap the edge of it until the edge started to mushroom out. It would kind of drag the words into it, but uh, they would drill a hole through the widened base and then file out the edge of it and it would make like a nice ring that you can wear. Back in the 1800s, people made love tokens. So they would wipe out like uh, the face of a dime or something, carve an initial or a date or something like this, and then they'd give it to their sweetheart. In the 30s, there were hobo nickels where people would carve into nickels so they would be able to add value to, uh, you know, a nickel and then be able to, uh, you know, buy some food. The art's always been there. It's just uh, something that, I don't know, yeah, it really fascinated me, like uh, coins and like, I always wanted to collect them, I just didn't know what to do with them. So once I found like what I can do with the stuff, I was able to really, uh, yeah, dive. <laughs>